Hey, what's up guys? And uh sorry. Apparently, I my computer was having an issue and it stopped uh recording, and I didn't realize until I was halfway through one of these dungeons. So, not a lot has exactly happened. I'll try to catch you up on everything. We got to the port town of Brisk. We talked to the pirates. Very fun crew. Uh they made a deal with us. They said that they could sit uh I can sail with them, but I have to be one of their people in a arm wrestling uh thing and if i didn't i would have to go and pick up an item for them and run an errand so we went to go and arm wrestle them uh one of their crew voltrain has a magic shirt apparently that gives him hella strength and they bodied girl in a arm wrestling um our arm wrestling match so here we are at an abandoned wizards uh laboratory and they want a coin from his um they want a coin from this uh this facility this place and this coin apparently will make any undead creature uh do their bidding and they want to use that coin on the dead captain of the vesper team the uh ghost ship that teeks was talking about in her story so that the captain will give the vesper team to the captain of um the ship that we want to take to Wraith Island. So here we are at this uh, abandoned wizard's factory. If I could, I would have gone back and um, if I could have, I would have went back and tried to record some stuff, but I couldn't, it's already too late. So sorry about that, fellas. Not a lot has happened, but you know, you missed some little interesting stuff like the arm wrestling tournament, uh, the arm wrestling match and all that stuff. Okay, so I don't know why it didn't record. I, I hit that button and it was just like, yeah, I don't feel like. All right. Okay, so the guy on the very right is resistant to magic. Yeah, most of these guys are pretty weak. All right, we got to nourish uh, Valir. There you go, honey. It's a physical attack, so we should be able to do some damage. All right, let's try this. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Actually, we could we could beat that right now. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and absorb this and knock this guy out. Fifty one damage, nice. All right, so let's go ahead and use Garl to nourish. Wait, we don't have it. Oh, uh, we don't have enough uh, MP. All right, uh, let's see. No, nah, we're not gonna use that. That's good. All right, so now we have access to the lever. So now I've actually, I put that there. So now I can get into that, uh, get to that area. There we go. And what is this going to do? Oh, that's going to give us another one of those. Uh, okay. That gives us a crystal. All right, so now that we put that there, now we can go ahead and put the green crystal and that's gonna create blue and green makes. 
What does blue and green make? It's like an emerald or something like that? Not an emerald, no, that's more like teal. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save there, and then we're gonna go ahead and rest. I'm, I'm so sorry for not recording. I don't want y'all to miss any of the story, but I mean, not much exactly has happened story-wise, but that's pretty much the gist of what happened. Uh, let's go down here and see what's going on. Oh, looks like we got a rainbow conch. Don't mind me, I'm just searching around. Oh, we were behind a waterfall. Okay, never mind. I don't think there's anything else around here. I wonder what the gimmick of this place is. Oh, enemies, yay. All right, so I'm gonna use a sunball on... Okay, I was about to say, I know there's gotta be... There we go. All right, so yeah, that guy on the left is resistant. But we are gonna use Moonerang on that dude so we can stop him from doing whatever ability it is that he has. Oh God, I messed up. Yeah, I totally messed up on that. He has one HP. Something's up with that, that guy. I think the only way we can maybe stop him is by... I'm gonna guess and say the only way we can stop him is by stopping his attack. That's not good. Oh, crap, she survived. Okay, so that tulip thing. Oh, maybe we have to fight a volley of these enemies. Go ahead, shoot that over there. Okay. Absorb that and then go for him. Oh, I hit the button too early. That's the second one. And that should be the third fight, I'm guessing. I'll try to get the sneak. Oh, wow, he hit us. Okay. I should be able to kill it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and nourish her. Didn't he just go? He already gets attack again. So that's the third group of enemies. So what's going on now? Ah, the waterfall is gone. All right, perfect. I knew there was something behind that waterfall. Something told me. It was like, there's something behind that waterfall. 
found a red crystal all right perfect so now we can oh wait oh wow wait hold on there's like three different we have three different crystals so now we can mix and match wow so i bet some of these combinations are gonna find uh have us in a this might there might be like a extra area that we can go through maybe because now we need to find um now we need to find a way to unlock the next crystal so that we can put a crystal in its place I'm gonna try to take care of this thing first because these are the hardest things to take care of we'll use Garl in order to take care of that can I kill that? yeah Garl can take care of that and we'll use that to take care of this ah oh, we only did 38 damn I figured we would do more Ah, level up. Nice. Okay. So what is this? Level six? Yep. Level six. All right. Magic attack. Uh, physical attack. And you already know our boy is getting that good old defense. We're going to give him magic defense this time, actually. I wonder if this is a path, a safe path, actually. I wonder what happens if I step on the wrong path. Um. trying to figure out how to stop that because i don't have the only person who has a sword is who does like slashing attacks is zale so i would need to go three times in a row or not three times in a row i would need to go at least twice or something or attack attack combo all right so let's see how we can do this trying to murder my boy yeah I can't even combo so there's no way for me to stop him yeah there's no way for me to stop that now if he blows up he can kill Yeah, there's no way for me to stop that. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Crescent Moon this guy. Who's he going to hit? Oh. Okay. So I don't think he... I don't think that thing kills. I think it just... Uh, yeah, I don't think that thing kills. I think it just drops the uh your guy to one actually oh i can't even use moonerang solstice strike 
will we be able to kill that thing with salsa strike yes yes we did all right cool let's go ahead and use our use that we might have to go and cook in a bit Okay, so from the edge, go up two, take to the right, but not all the way to the right. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so there goes the lever that we need to hit. All right, so that gives us the other, that gives us that one. All right, so this is the yellow room. So now I'm guessing we put the blue crystal in, it takes us to a white room. But if we take out the that crystal, it takes us to a purple room. And I this might be a like, I wouldn't say a secret room, but a extra room that we didn't exactly need to go to, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna go here anyways. Doki. Oh, we got a fishing place. Hey, hey, right here in the well. I lost my watch in the lake and a fish swallow. Would you mind catching it for me? Ought to be glowing. All right, so there's nothing but Luna Trouts here. Okay, so let's try to find this guy's uh, watch. Oh, okay, never mind. Looks like the fish is right there. Oh, damn, I. Wait. Okay, I threw it a little bit too hard. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, so by pressing X early, you can actually just drop it early. Oh, that's how you aim with it. All right. And come here. There we go. All right. You call it Golden Watch. All right. Did you find my watch? Yep. That hit the spot. Thank you very much, my friend. Here's a little something for your trouble. Mage Knight armor. Okay. We lose out on defense, but we gain a lot of magic. Holy crap. Wait, that's an adventurer's vest. He can't wear that. All right. All right, we'll give that to Valir. We lose out on four defense, but we gain a lot of magic defense. I don't know how you slide down a rock wall, but okay. Um, so let's see. We just got the red crystal. We already used it with the green that made yellow. Red and blue made purple. Is there any other combinations that I need to use? We already went to yellow. Yeah, I think there was like maybe only four combinations, right? Uh, Blue, green. Blue, red. Blue, green, blue, red, red, green. Yeah. And then all four of them together. Yeah, okay. Just trying to make sure that my calculations are correct. I'm gonna feel so bad if later on I'll be like, hold on, wait, there was another combination. All right, so let's go ahead and cook. 
We'll make two herb fillets. Make two of these. And a basic salad, why not? Huh? There's nothing here. God, I'm getting like Culex vibes from Super Mario RPG. Hello? Anybody out there? Be careful, girl. We don't know what to expect here. I found something. What is that? Maybe the coin is in here. I bet that's the wizard. Wait. Feels powerful. Get ready. Oh, yeah. That's the coin in it right there, right? Wait, I didn't. Oh, I didn't rest. But we did save, though, so we should be okay. All right, so he's vulnerable to sun. Does he have multiple body parts? Nah, it's just him. All right, so he's resistant to physical, but we need to hit him with physical in order to get our thingies. Hundred and forty four, nice. Okay, I, I can shape shift. Okay, so one thing I could do is hit him twice with Zale. Actually, wait a second. I can go ahead and boost. Hit him twice. That'll take away two parts of him. If you don't freaking miss it like that, genius. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. Well, we'll be able to hit him again, I believe. Um, Let's go ahead and nourish Garl. There we go. Combo. Uh, we're gonna hit him one time. Well, twice. And then we're going to use... Combo Bash Drop. Not bad. Actually, probably did, would have did more damage if I just used uh, Boona Rank. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. And let's go ahead and nourish myself again. That killed him. Wow. And I blocked all three of those hits. That's interesting. I'm not going to be able to get my boy up that fast. I don't believe. Actually, I might be able to do something. Let's see. 
Oh, never mind. He died. <laughs> He's gone. And it seems like the uh, party shares experience, so I don't have to worry about people not getting their experience. Look, that's got to be the coin we need. Coin of Undeath Accord. Alright, there's our ticket to Wraith Island. Ahoy, you got the coin. A job well done. Let's go back to Brist. The captain will be waiting. Now, one of the things that I learned about Keenathan is he's a really good mage, but apparently he can only do magic with his eyes closed or blind. So he has two eye patches to keep himself from seeing while he does his magic. It's interesting. It's weird. Uh, let's go ahead and rest. That, now that I think about it, that garb that we got from the guy in the, uh, when we fished out his, his watch, that might have saved, uh, Zale had I put the, uh, that on him. That might have saved him, who knows. I don't even think he touched Valir at all. Uh, we're meeting at the docks, I can't remember. Also, I didn't even check over here. Holy crap, Rainbow Conch. Oh, wait. Yeah, there was a sign over here. I don't know what it said, but there was a sign. Oh, sweet. So now I can go ahead and swim around. Let's see if there's anything we can grab. How far can we swim out? I was about to say, can we just leave the map and just swim to our destination? Oh, what, what's going on here? You got this, son. Only 40 more to go. Only 40 more. Uh, I hate fishing so much, but my dad says we can't leave until we caught enough. We've been here forever. Think you can lend a hand? Once you have 40 fillets, we'll be able to leave. Can you spare some fish? All right. Okay, so we got a little bit of a mission. Apparently, we need to get 40 fillets, which means that we need to go fishing. All right, so here we are at the fishing place. All right, let's see if we can get these fillets so that we can help this kid. All right, fillet it for three. Fillet it for two. Oops. Okay, we messed up on that one. Come on, you little bugger. Oh, damn, he just came out of nowhere and grabbed it. A grass haddock, okay. We need to get 37. Come here. Hey, 
I haven't even been counting, honestly. Yeah, it looked like my boy was chasing it. Come on. Come on. I kind of wish that they had weight on them. Come on. I don't think that we have... I think there's a difference between filet and seafood. Oh, no. There we go. Ah. Oh, this is a, this is a hard one. Okay, so, yeah, we only have 12. So now we have 15. I think there's going to be enough fish for us to catch like do they reset every time i leave and come back oh they do reset okay so we're going to be here a while Oh, that count is incomplete. Okay. Well, oh, where did he come from?
Oh, word, nobody wants it. Where did he come from? Thirty-seven. So that's 30. Come on. All right, we have 39 fish fillets now. So now we can go back, talk to the kid, and give him uh, the fillets. There we go. Nice, we got a rainbow conch for that. Nice.
all right so now that we got the, we did that little quest uh let's go ahead and talk to the pirate well you're gone and done it stunning performance pals i am officially naming you members of our crew whoa okay no way so we're real pirates we fulfilled our end of the deal will you take us to wraith island now I in this crew a mate is need a mate in need is a quest indeed huzzah your boat is huge I can't wait to see the kitchen hold your horses son that there ship ain't ours wait what we be right this way wow watch it be a dinghy wow wow they what the oakum skiff ain't much to look at, but it'll get you across the shallow mire to Wraith Island, all right. Bro, what? Just gotta stick to that canal. No open sea for us till we get a proper vessel. Bruh, you can't trust pirates. So unless y'all have some unfinished business, we can set sail for Wraith Island right now. All right, uh... Yeah, sure, let's go. I can't believe it. That whole time, that wasn't even this ship. They fucked around and gave us a dinghy, bruh. That's that... Yo, that's that ship that uh Tom Cruise made on Castaway. Taking the sunlight, pals. I hear Rafe Island is real gloomy. Watch, we're gonna run into the ship. We're gonna run into the ship. Yeah, good old soul-based dweller will do that. Nothing you solstice foes can't fix, of course. Well, at least I hope so. Wouldn't want to end up moving there permanently. What do you mean? Don't you know about the one-way trip thing? Well, here's another one y'all have y'all never heard before. No one that's been to Rafe Island has ever returned. Why not? Kenathan? Stories say that the Dweller of Woe has mind control powers. After setting foot on Rafe Island, people are cursed to remain there for the rest of their lives. And life on Rafe Island is lived day by day, for no one knows who the Dweller will prey on next. Prey? These things feed, ain't you heard? Hey, ever so often the Dweller sings with her cursed voice, compelling one of the denizens of Raf Island to sweet walk into her lair, never to return. Okay, that's... It's pretty creepy. But why would people even go there then? Beats me. Curiosity? Boredom? A need to escape? You'll get to ask soon enough. Did you guys know all about this? Don't worry, girl. It's what we have been trained for. And the headmaster is in charge of the mission. He's dealt with many dwellers before. Oh, it's starting to turn dusk right now, so maybe we'll run into that ship. Arlena and Brugues will be there too. And they're much stronger than us. I'm sure you can handle it. It's just kind of giving me the creeps. The eclipse makes the dwellers weak to our magic. Everything will be fine. And don't forget, it's the last dweller. Pretty surreal to think we'll be the ones to see the end of it all after centuries of struggle. That means you'll be free from duty. We could travel the world. Ahoy, Captain. Seems the sun be setting. Don't you blink now, or you'll miss it. Behold, the legendary ghost ship that appears at dusk. The Vespertine. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's just there. Oh, wow, it just pops out. Wow, that's dope. Honestly, are we going to go there? I want to I want to check it out. I forgot the ghost captain's name. And then it just disappears. Quite the prize. The Vesper team will be ours, my, uh, ours one day, or my name is not Kenathan. 
All in due time, mateys. For now, we're about to hit the docks. Look alive and brace yourselves. Yeah, I want to go to the Vespertine. I want to see what that's about. By overcoming the dead wizard's illusions, our heroes have secured passage to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. In this place where the night is everlasting and the dead still live, they brace themselves to fight the last known dweller. While evil forces prepare to play their hand, fear is set to strike very close to home. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That sounds very ominous. All right, so here we are at Wraith Island Docks. This place is gloomy. All part of the curse around here. Headmaster Marine calls it the Night Shroud. It's an old flesh master curse that prevents any sunlight from reaching the island. So even after you defeat the Dweller, yeah, there ain't no fix in that one. But hey, it's a living. Speak of which, the town of Lucent should be just ahead. We'll be kicking it back at the local tavern. Can't leave you till take care of business anyway. Yolandi, why come here with us if you knew how dangerous it was? We be trusting the captain, and seems the captain be trusting y'all. If our adventure is to end here, I say so be it. And we will have remained loyal to the end and seen that much more of the world. Right on, Kenathan. Hey, you should come see us at the end. We'll be playing some music. You play music? Aye, Captain wants us to practice cheering up the places we visit. Well, onwards then. I wonder what's up with this Captain. The Captain doesn't say much. Valtteri's invitation sounds fun. How about we get to the inn and take it easy for a little while? It's not like there's anything more we can do here until the others get here. I suppose we did arrive early. Oh, don't feel bad. You've accomplished so much already. But plus this cleansing thing, fighting a dweller must be a pretty big deal. Might as well be fully rested, don't you think? I guess we could take a short break. All right, let's make it for Lucent. First of all, let's go ahead and grab that. And let's go ahead and rest for a bit. And then we'll go ahead and save. All right, guys, and that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for all watching. I'm enjoying this game, as always. I keep saying that at the end of the video. But um, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, sorry for missing out a little part of the story. Uh, but we'll make sure that that tries not to happen again. So I'll catch you all later and see you in the next video. Peace out.